PixInsight is one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful, astro image processing programs. And they offer a 45 day free trial that I'm going to show you how to download to use with my PixInsight tutorials. Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. And today is the moment that all of the PixInsight tutorials have been building up to. Today, we're gonna to be downloading and installing PixInsight along with a few of the plugins. Now, we're gonna do this in two parts, just for the sake of time and organization. Today is gonna to be downloading and installing PixInsight along with three free plugins. Uh, the three plugins that we're gonna be using are Bill Blanchin's uh, Narrowband Normalization Process, Polyman Astro's 4X Palette Utility, and uh, Generalized Hyperbolic Stretch. And then in the next video, we're gonna be uh, downloading and installing uh, RC Astro Star Exterminator, Blur Exterminator, and Noise Exterminator. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Now let's head on over and get started with downloading and configuring PixInsight. To download PixInsight, what you're gonna do is open up your favorite web browser and go to google.com. And once you're there, you're gonna to go to the search bar and type in PixInsight. And you'll, you'll see PixInsight pop up. If not, just keep on typing until you do. And once it pops up, just click on it and you'll see PixInsight.com, PixInsight, Pleiades, Astrophoto. Go ahead and click on that link and that'll bring you to PixInsight's homepage. One thing I recommend doing is go to Resources, System Requirements, and just read through this and make sure that your computer is able to run PixInsight. Once you confirm that your computer is able to run PixInsight, you're going to go to Licenses and you'll see two options. Request Free Trial License and Purchase Commercial License. Now, if you're following along with my PixInsight uh, series and you're looking to try PixInsight risk-free, um, you're going to want to do the download or request free trial license. This gives you a 45 day uh, window to use PixInsight. Uh, there are no limitations. It is full access to every feature that PixInsight has to offer. And you have that for uh, 45 days. Um, so this is a very good way to try the program and make sure that it is for you and uh, you don't have to pay for that. So that's awesome. Now, if you know that you uh, want PixInsight and um, you want to download the uh, permanent license, then you're going to go to purchase uh, commercial license. And in here, you'll have all of the information regarding it. Uh, the price of it and um, you just buy it and then it'll send you an email and within that email it'll have instructions um, that you need to follow uh, username password uh, your license number information all of that um, we'll get into this uh, just a second because it's going to be somewhat similar if you are going to be doing a free trial license, you're going to click on free trial license, uh, 45 days, um, no charge and full access. Uh, so you can really try out the program. Um, down here, you'll fill out the information and um, what you'll do is hit submit, only hit submit once and uh, it'll send you an email this is where the two come together and become similar. Now in that email, it's gonna give you a username. Uh, I believe it's a temporary password. Please forgive me, it's been uh, quite a while since I've done this, um, but it'll give you a username. I believe a temporary password and um, license information, all of that other good stuff. What you're gonna do with that is and there's also instructions that you can follow they're very easy to follow um, you're going to go to downloads software distribution and this is where you enter in the information that it gives you your username 
the temporary password, it should prompt you to put in your own password. And what you're gonna do is you're going to log in and you're gonna come down to um, PixInsight installation files. Now this screen should look familiar. This is the uh, screen that we were in for um, SPCC where we did the Gaia DR3SP database. Um, you can find out information on um, the uh, core packages for PixInsight, uh, running with a trial license, uh, Linux installation, there's, there's all kinds of good information in here. But what you wanna do is once you're logged into this screen, PixInsight installation files, download the latest and greatest if your system is able to handle it. You're gonna click on this and you'll see um, download links for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Whichever operating system you're using, you're gonna click on the link. Now, I already have this installed, so I'm not going to do it again, but what you'll do is you'll click on the link. Depending on your system, you should have a downloads box that pops up in the top right corner. It looks something like this. You'll see PixInsight downloading. Once it's done downloading, click open file. You may or may not have a box in the middle here that pops up that asks if you want to allow the application to make changes to your device. If you do, go ahead and click OK and then follow the install wizard. Now the install wizard should have um, an area where you can add a shortcut to your desktop. If not, once everything is done downloading, you'll just come down in your search bar, type in PixInsight and open it up through there. If it allows you to make um, an icon on your desktop, you'll just double click on that icon. And once PixInsight is loading, at this point, you will get a box that pops up that prompts you to add in um, some information that's contained within the email. Um, I wanna say it's uh, either just license number or possibly um, your username, password, and license number, but everything that it's gonna ask for is contained within the email that you get. And this is Fixinsight. Now, um, once you are converting from a trial to a permanent license, um, the instructions converting from a trial to a permanent license will be contained within the email once you buy a permanent license. And uh, if memory serves me correctly, and don't quote me on this because um, it could have changed since I've done this, but um, when you... Uh, download the, I believe you have to re-download the permanent version of PixInsight off of their software distribution, and then it'll prompt you to uh, enter in a permanent license. Uh, I believe that's how that was, but again, it's been quite a while. The you know, process has changed from time to time, but just follow the instructions in the email that you receive from PixInsight. Now, once you're inside the core application, there's a couple of things that we want to do in order to set this up. Now we go through um, generalized hyperbolic stretch. That is not part of the core program. That's going to be an add-on. Now it is a free add-on. And what we're going to do is let me just grab the, uh, the URL really quick. So I'm gonna have uh, links to these posted in the description of this video. Now, what you'll do is you'll just click on the links. It'll open up a web browser where you'll be able to copy the URL and then paste it in. But let's, uh, let's do GHS for uh, an example here. Once you click on the link, you'll be brought to something like this. Don't worry about this, this is fine. All that you're doing is grabbing the URL, copy it, head back into PixInsight. And what you're gonna do is go to resources, updates, manage repositories, add, paste it in, hit okay. 
that's going to be for GHS. Now the next one is going to be for uh, Bill's uh, narrowband normalization. This is a very good uh, process. This is going to give you your Hubble HOO, SHO, HSO palettes. And it looks something like this where you can choose your different palettes. And we're going to run through this when we do the, um, the workflows. But what you're going to do, let me grab that URL really quick. And again, I'm going to have um, links to these in the description of this video, but you'll click on the link. It'll bring you to something like this. Don't worry about anything on the page that it pops up. All you're gonna do is copy the link, head back into PixInsight, Resources, Updates, and uh, Manage rep Repositories, Add, paste the link in, hit OK. And then the last thing here, uh, this is going to be by Polyman Astro, a 4 palette script. Um, this is actually going to be a very nice one. Now, just to, as you saw earlier, the um, uh, narrowband normalization will end up showing up in here once we have all of this set. Now, under script utilities, and we have 4 palette utility. This gives you a 4 palette. We'll run through using this in our workflow video. But what you're going to do is, again, we'll have a link for it. And you'll just click on that link. It'll bring you into um, a web browser. And what you're going to do is just copy the URL and back into PixInsight, and then you'll go into Resources, Updates, Manage Repositories, Add, paste it in there, and hit OK. Now, from there, once you have all of that done, all of those inserted in, you're going to go to Resources, Updates, Check for Updates, and you'll see PixInsight checking for updates. And mine is up to date, so you're not going to see the box I'm talking about, unfortunately, but you'll have a box that pops up over here and uh, you'll have available updates. You're going to click select all, hit OK. There may or may not be another box or two that pops up that prompts you to hit OK. Just hit OK through all those boxes and you'll see PixInsight updating. Once that's done, you're going to exit out of PixInsight and it may restart. Uh, if it doesn't, just go ahead and reload PixInsight. And once that's done, all of those that we just did, you'll see uh, generalized hyperbolic stretch, and you'll also see um, narrowband normalization appear in your processes. And under script utilities, you'll see the 4x palette utility pop up. Now, one last thing I want to go over with you is um, different processes. There's going to be some processes that you're going to be using uh, over and over with the same settings. One example is going to be from my RC Astro Star Exterminator video. In uh, Pixel Math, we have a formula that we use to... Um, reinsert unscreened stars into an image. And I don't want to keep putting in the formula over and over again. So what I did is I saved the process icon. So once uh, I load PixInsight, um, they're all there. And you're probably thinking, well, Tony, you just opened up PixInsight and none of your icons are there. Well, let me exit out of this. And we're going to go into here. And I'm going to go to my WBPP folder that I've saved, which has all of my um, final images and images I'm currently working on. And you'll see color palette. Let's go ahead and open up color palette. And here's my icons. Now, these right here, these are Bill's old um, uh, normalization uh 
piece is right here. Very good, very good software. It does an amazing job, but we're gonna learn how to do it the new way. Now, here is my pixel math for putting unscreened stars back. Go ahead and jot down that formula because as you're doing this, um, you might as well save it to your desktop. Now, once you have pixel math opened, and that's gonna be in process, all processes, pixel math. Once you have pixel math open, which will look like this, you'll go ahead and insert that formula right here. Now, once that formula is inserted, what you're gonna do is grab the triangle, drag it down. Now we can exit out. And every time you open it, it has that formula in there for you. From there, what you're gonna do is click on that little top right and go ahead and name it. I need mine stars back because, well, it puts the stars back. And once you have that done, then what we're gonna do, let me delete that out of there. What we're gonna do is uh, save this. So what you're gonna do is go to process, process icons, save process icons, and then you're gonna choose the folder that you want it to go in. For me, I put it in my WBPP folder because that is everything picks in sight. And then you're just gonna go ahead and name it. Now I named mine color palette because well, it had the uh, color palettes in there. And once uh, you have that saved, anytime you go into that folder and you open up picks in sight through the uh, saved, uh, workspace it's going to have all of your process icons in there and that is all that it takes to download and configure PixInsight and I hope you found that useful uh, if you did do me a favor that channel icon that just popped up hit that channel icon and subscribe I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information and then throw a comment in the comment section did you learn anything new are you excited to use this what questions do you have and then check out that next video until the next time Clear skies.